That which came is soon to pass. A raging storm, a great impasse. For a child's mind, so sweet and pure, imagination is its cure. Nothing forgets as fast and sweet as a journey taken on one's own feet. This is Robin, and this is Teddy. Robin and Teddy have just woken up after a big, scary storm, and have rushed down to make sure their moon base is still secure. At long last, Robin and Teddy arrive to find their moon base completely ruined. They try desperately to recover what they can. Robin tries in vain to resurrect the rover. The alien bio lab. The living quarters. The water maker. But it's too late. There is nothing they can do. Robin and Teddy curse the rain for what it has done. Robin slumps down in the sand with Teddy. That gave Robin a bright idea. Robin had heard about a magical place that never rained. And Teddy had sat through dozens of documentaries about sand. Robin and Teddy decide they need to rebuild. They want to go to a place that's always sunny, a place that never rains, that never runs out of sand. They want to go to Mars. Robin and Teddy set out to build themselves a rocket. Using the parts around them, they carefully select the parts they want to use. Robin added a new part to the rocket. minutes of work, Robin and Teddy's rocket is finally finished. They can decide to head off now or keep customizing until they are happy with it. Approximately 8.7 seconds later, Robin and Teddy arrive at the Moon Customs Office. The Moon had been expecting them. 
The moon thought deeply. The moon was so happy with Robin and Teddy. <laughs> He decided to pass them straight through moon customs and sent them on their way. And just like that, Teddy and Robin headed for Mars. And so they went. Robin and Teddy, Teddy and Robin. On and on through space and time closer and closer to glory, to triumph, closer to the red planet itself. It was as if nothing could stop them. This was their destiny. They were finally, finally, Teddy and Robin They finally Where in space is that beeping coming from? Teddy, Robin and Narrator annoyingly notice a beeping noise. They decide to stop monologuing and explore the ship to find the source of the noise.
Teddy find the source of the beeping. And are shocked to discover that the ship is super low on star fuel. <coughs> Listening to PAL 3000's words of wisdom, Robin rushes to the airlock to collect star fuel. Robin knew they couldn't stay here forever. It was time to get a move on. It was time for them to find stars of their own. With Teddy manning the ship, Robin stepped out into the cold vacuum of space in search of precious star fuel. collected all the star fuel they could ever need. It was time to... Hold on just a minute. What is that? Disaster has struck! Teddy, using his old T-P-S, has driven our heroes right into the Schwarzenegger a steroid field! takes evasive action to dodge the A-steroids. a rock.
his learner test twice growing up. Nobody puts Teddy in the corner. After their accidental shortcut through the Schwarzenegger A steroid field, Robin and Teddy were nearly at Mars. Maybe sometimes unexpected things just happen. If Robin and Teddy wanted to arrive safely, they would have to fix their spaceship first using their super high-tech awesome multi-tool! At last, the ship is fixed. Time for Robin to talk to the companions and make sure they are all ready to arrive.
to do now is go to the bridge and press the Arrive button. Our heroes had done it. They had made it. They had finally arrived. After all they had endured, it was time for our little astronauts to turn over the page. And begin a new chapter. And so it was. After rain and hail, buildings and rockets, customs and moons, lights and warnings, stars and fuel, asteroids and multi-tools. Our heroes had arrived at Mars, the place that's always sunny, the place where it never rains, that never runs out of sand. And while their trip may be over, their journey has just begun.